Parliament has this afternoon adopted a motion recommending the cancellation of power distribution farm Umeme. This comes at the heels of a report from the Adok Committee on Energy which indicts Umeme for exaggerating its investments in the sector and failing to reduce power losses. Lawmakers across the political divide sang from the same hymn book arguing that the contract should be terminated to save the country from a colossal loss of money. However, the resolution passed by Parliament is only persuasive but not binding on the executive. Umeme was allowed to accomplish its lifetime with the, in respect of the agreement. Uganda will still pay Umeme 90, 98 million US dollars. Other MPs said Umeme's contract should be terminated as a result of its shambolic management and failure to bring down the power tariffs. Not only to the domestic consumers but also our industrialization process. Right now as we talk, we are no longer competitive in the region. And this is purely because of the tariff. I would like to therefore think that um, the recommendation Parliament has made today is in the interest of the people of Uganda. Wasted a lot of money. Let's just terminate it and we'll see what ahead because it was a bad contract from day one. All Ugandans know it's a bad contract and the report has been on the floor of Parliament for over a year. It actually explodes because we, we can see in the, in the whole world we have the highest tariffs of power and moreover our people are still in darkness. In 2011, General Salim Saleh, a senior presidential advisor on military affairs, said government should repossess government's assets in Umeme because the privatization of the sector was not well thought out. According to the committee's findings, the contract signed was largely skewed in Umeme's favor which was negotiated without the involvement of Uganda's Attorney General. However, while in Parliament, the Prime Minister Maman Babazi advised Parliament gives government a month time to look through its contract. Even when you are to terminate a contract, you must do it carefully so that you don't cause greater damage than the reason why you want to terminate. Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi's desperate attempt to block the motion fell on deaf ears after ruling party lawmakers rejected his pleas. So who are going to renegotiate with Umeme, Madam Speaker? I believe it will be better for us to terminate and terminate now. I can as the debate raged on, Plenary also recommended the cancellation of ESCOM Uganda contract. MPs believe ESCOM was duplicating the role of Uganda Electricity Generation Company. It is also not proper for a strategic uh, asset like energy to be handed over to a foreign company without really a key eye put on these assets uh, from the, gov the government side. So that's why we have said no, let's phase out ESCOM and let's equip Uganda Electricity Generation Company uh, so that our own people can manage our own resources. But the ESCOM Corporate Affairs Manager Simon Cassiate hopes that government will evaluate the recommendations of parliament before taking action. That parliamentary resolutions such as this are only advisory to government. So we believe and hope that government, using its technical nuance, will evaluate this advice given to them by parliament, which is not binding anyway. We are confident of the fact that government, which in its wisdom in the first place gave us this concession for 20 years, which we have satisfactorily done past the halfway mark, will not so much listen to the recommendations of parliament. In 2012, Umeme had threatened to initiate the termination of the contract after the government gave its stringent targets. This is one of the rare occasions where we see the opposition come in agreement with the NRM side. Now the doc report on energy has been one of the reports in parliament that has taken so long to be passed. Now today, now that we've seen that parliament has adopted the termination of this report, whether it will see the light of the day, this will now depend in cabinet where the report shall be taken. More research all NTV at Parliament.